So our, our experiences with community groups uh, has been just essential for us. Uh, having moved here from South Carolina, uh, you know, she's never been more than two hours from her parents until we moved halfway across the country. So it gave us and, and especially her a sense of family and, and built-in friendships that, that she could rely on, you know, when I'm traveling and, and just in everyday life and she needs somebody to lean back on. Uh, that, that's been our community group. Blake travels and so, um, there's been many times where, you know, we needed extra help or something when he was gone and, and just having, you know, just knowing who to call if my car breaks down or something, having those friends around um, just kind of gives me extra security knowing that, that there's people that, that are around to help. More than what we expected, you know, we kind of went in thinking that we would just be hanging out and socializing with people from church and just... Um, more like a Bible study, but I don't think we realized that, that our community group would become family like they did. This was the first time that we'd ever really been involved in something like this, and so uh, the, just the, the relationships and the friendships and watching our kids grow up together was something that we never expected when we got into it. I would say go for it, first of all you know, go in with an open mind and give it some time. First week or two is a little bit awkward and, you know, you're still kind of feeling it out and, and it, there's some awkwardness, but next thing you know, you're a couple weeks into it and, and you're loving the people that you're with and the conversations are just exploding and you really feel like you're getting to know people on a deeper level and, and get involved in their lives. Mm -hmm.